to share, or at least make them last, but you end up eating the whole bag in an afternoon. Sated, you relax in the knowledge of a few pence well spent. Then you realise when your parents call you in for dinner that there's no way you can manage a full meal after consuming such a quantity of confectionery, and that in this moment you are experiencing the exact mythical instance of spoiling your dinner, of which you were warned so many times as a child, but it's too late now. And you can't lose face by admitting your parents were right, so you keep quiet and eat the whole meal and even have second and third helpings just to hide the shame that your parents can't see but you imagine is so evident in your every movement. Sweaty, nervous, you shovel every new mouth full of wholesome home-cooked family food into your trembling mouth. And though you were full after just a few bites, you can neither spit it out nor stop eating. You spend the rest of the evening certain that you're either going to throw up or split at the sides, and you go to throw away the wrapper, but you notice, to your delight and horror, there is something in there still. Something red and stringy. There is a single strawberry bootlace still inside the wrapper, and in spite of your already full to bursting stomach and your sense of self-disgust, you triumphantly peel the final sticky remnant from the pack and eat it, savouring every last drop of artificial flavouring and knowing for sure that there can be no benevolent god that would allow such magnificent unhappiness to flourish in the form of a mere child's treat. That, my friend, is a strawberry boot place.